All right, so um, here's a really cool way that you can programmatically find answers to questions like how many locations does a certain company have? So in this example, we're trying to find a number of locations companies like Sprouts has. So what I would normally do is do a Google search for Sprouts number of locations, right? Um, and you'll see one of the first results is this company called Scrape Hero, which has the answers to all of our questions and also has the answers for a lot of different brands. And so you know, if we were to search now, target Scrape Hero locations, right? Open up this tab, you'll see they've got a number right here with number of locations. Same thing with this. Um, you know, it's not gonna be 100% accurate because it is up to this other scraper company to pull the correct information. However, it's going to be pretty close. It's still very hard to use. So what we can do is we can automate you know, the entire process of running a Google search and figuring out what this number is. The reason we can do that is, first of all, there is a company that has already scraped all this information. And second of all, um, once you find a page that has this information, you'll see that this number is actually in the same spot for every page. So what I did was I went to, first of all, the clay scraper. Um, click here for Chrome, click select data. And first I changed this URL to say, originally it actually was just set up to only work on locations, reports, slash target USA, which is up here. What I did was I changed it to be dynamic with the company name. So this works on anyone. And you can do this yourself as well. Save the changes. And then I just clicked select data from page. I selected a single attribute and I selected this text. So uh, what happens now is to check that the scraper is working. Let's open up um, you know, Sprouts, for example. Go to Clayful Chrome. You'll see it's pulled the number of locations right here. So then the last thing to automate this entire flow is, OK, first thing we need to do is get a list of our company names. And then if we go to Enrichments and do Google Search, uh, the way you set this up is you simply add the company name plus Scrape your locations, right? Uh, and I've already got this set up in this column, so um, I'm not going to run this again, but then I'll just send the number of results to one. And what happens is you get something like this, which is basically the open search results it is a link to the website. So I just map this link to the column, and you'll see, okay, now I've automated the actual Google search. The next thing to do is automate the scraping. And so I've used the data from page. So if you search good data from page, essentially what's going to happen is if there is a scrape formula on the page, which in this case there is, right? It's called scrape your locations. It's going to run that for whatever page it's on. Uh, so in this case, all I did, as you'll see here, is I just put in that link that I found by automating the Google search. And then it has given me the number of locations. So um, a really cool one you can replicate yourself. You can also use for other use cases in which there are companies who have programmatically found the answer to your question. Um, yeah, overall, it is a really cool way to find those answers. Thanks.